Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak, and in this episode, I'm going to talk about sharpening, which is a really important thing when you work with photographs. First, I will show you how to make localized sharpening with the Sharpen tool. Then I will show you how to mask your sharpening where you don't want to see its effect. And I will also show you how to use the high pass filter to increase the contrast and the sharpness of a photograph. So let's get started. First, with this photograph, I will show you the Sharpen tool which is this one here in the toolbar. So this is a sharpen tool. What is a great new feature introduced in CS4 is the protect detail. So I always turn this on and I also make a new layer for my sharpening and usually I call that sharpen. Make sure you have the sample all layers checked as well. So sample all layers and protect detail also checked. And then if you start drawing over particular parts of your image with the sharpen tool, you can quickly sharpen those details. Usually I don't use 100% strength for the sharpen tool, so I undo these steps and I turn down the strength to around 30 or 40%. And now I start drawing and you can see this is much better. The previous one is a bit too much but even if you feel that this is too much you can always turn down the opacity of the layer to fade back the sharpening so now I turn off the layer to see before and I turn on to see after the sharpening tool is a really quick way to locally adjust or change the sharpness of the image but you can use a sharpening filter if you want to sharpen the whole image together I show you another example so here I would like to apply the sharpening for the whole image so that's why I'm going to use a filter but before doing that I'm going to turn this layer into a smart object I right click on it and I convert it into a smart object if you don't know what is a smart object you should visit a previous episode where I talk about using smart objects so now after I have my smart object I go to the filter menu and I choose sharpen and I choose smart sharpen. In this window I can see before and after by clicking and holding the image shows me the previous or the original image and when I let go I see the effect of the sharpening. I don't want to change these now. This is the maximum value of sharpening. It is a bit too much and you'll see what is the problem with this. So I click on OK and if I zoom closer to my image, we see there is really nice detail level now because of the smart sharpening. I can turn it off here in the layers panel to see before. I can turn it on to see after. It looks really good a bit over sharpened but what is the main problem is that in the background because of the depth of field we see noise usually on smooth surfaces intense sharpening will introduce noise digital noise now this is something that we don't want to do and to get rid of the noise you can use this mask which is the smart filters mask and just use brush tool and black color to draw over these areas after selecting the mask and as you can see you can quickly get rid of the noise completely there you should use a soft edge brush and then you can quickly draw over even the edges like this and get rid of the noise from the whole image quickly I don't want to do this on the whole image but you see how it works and this is a great feature but it only works if you use a smart object and after that you apply the smart sharpen. So in this case we have a smart object with a smart sharpen filter used as a smart filter. So everything is smart. <laughs> but I would like to show you another example where I will use nearly the same thing 
but another filter called high pass which can be also used for sharpening images I right click on the image and I convert it to smart object that's the first step then I go to filter and instead of going to the sharpen options I will go to other and I will choose high pass I really like the effect of this filter when I want to make sharpening on an image and I usually start with 4 or 5 pixels you can use even less if you want and click on OK but the effect is not what we want to see it's not a nice effect but it can be turned into a nice sharpening filter if you change the blend mode of the high pass filter now again because we used a smart object with the filter we can change the blending of the filter easily by clicking on this icon here in the layers panel which gives us the blending options for the smart filter I change the mode to overlay because if you set the high pass filter to overlay blending mode then you get a nice sharpening effect so I click on OK and if I turn off the high pass this was before and this is after if you look at the whole image this is before and this is after if you double click on high pass you can change the radius and if you go above 30 pixels you will get something like an HDR effect high dynamic range photograph effect so now I turn it off this was without the high pass and this is with the high pass so as you can see high pass not only increases sharpness but it also increases the detail level and the contrast and even I would say the color intensity I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and next time I will talk about blurring images now why would we ever need blurring images you will see it next time and I will talk about depth of field how to simulate depths of field so stay tuned and i hope you enjoyed this one see you next time thanks a lot for your attention